Today we're at a sports lab to compare the Apple Watch body fat measurement wristband to the gold standard, which is DEXA scan. And as a result, Diana didn't get to eat breakfast this morning. Did you eat breakfast this morning? I skipped it for you, <laughs> only for you. I even gave up a taco bar before here, okay? Free tacos. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, good hey. morning, you guys. Hi. Welcome hey. to Dexafit. Okay. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Ready? Ready? Okay. <laughs> it is a low dose radiation x ray, body fat percentage, fat mass lean mass so not only will you be getting a baseline today you'll also be able to track on any changes over time what has worked for you won't always work for you so it's great to pinpoint when to change that you know what's funny for such like a high-tech piece of equipment this looks like it was built in like 1998. how dare right. you make fun of our dexa scan it's yeah. Yeah. hey i paid my good how money dare you? how dare old. you you come into dexafit and you say the scan looks old Seriously. I'm just saying I want my washer and dryer with my GE equipment. <laughs> we gotta make sure we get our scans before we go in so it's accurate. If they stand very still and not touch your arms to your body. Babe. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. We're meeting uh, Kit at 1 p.m. Okay. To get the DEXA scan. You didn't have any breakfast, right? Yeah, you can't have any breakfast. It'll affect the DEXA scan. Can I drink coffee at least? Nope. It's safe, right? It's super safe. Yeah, it's safe for all of us to be here in the room with you're you. The, you're the kid. You know, safe. I'm, I'm had a lot of concerns about my glowing skin, yeah. but you know, I would be too. It burns you. easily. I burn very easily. <laughs> Diana's pretty good in the sun. She doesn't burn as easily. I think so too. Diana has yeah. like yeah. an elite yeah. tan. Elite tan. For sure. Is that it's that's natural. what we call it? Nice. All right, people, I've got measurements. This is a chart. Where do you think that you are on the chart? VO2 max, that's the wrong chart. This is the body fat percentages of athletes, fitness, average. Diana, where are you gonna fall in on the scale, you think? I will not fall into the athletes for sure, but I think I would fall in the 10 to 13% for women. So that's under athlete. <laughs> Even less than athlete. So Diana, probably a 13%. Okay, so Diana's saying 13%. Kit, uh, any ideas? Yeah, I'm probably like, I'm probably gonna guess like 18. I'll be like average. I'm gonna say I'm around, I'm gonna say 15. 15. But we'll see what the DEXA scan okay. says. So we made sure not to eat any food or drink any caffeine. Yep, unfortunately. Except you don't really have to not drink caffeine because you're not doing the VO2 max test. I'm not? I could have had coffee this morning. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, I'll go do my scan first. That's smart. And, uh... That's smart. Okay, so Cody, how you're gonna prepare yourself? I'm gonna kill him. Your head about three inches beneath this top white line, and so what happens? So you can really decipher between the fat mass and the lean mass. Why do you want to get your DEXA scan? Well, I just had a baby, and now that. I am a mother and I'm a year in this motherhood journey. I figure it would be a great time to get a baseline of where my body's at. And then I'm also training for a 5K, which I think it's uh, very fun, but also I need to know where I'm at. Fitness has become a big part of my life and my wife's life, as you know. We've lost a bunch of weight. I've lost 75 pounds over the last couple of years. We want to live as long as we can for our kids. Um, I just lost my dad a few years ago and it prompted this kind of drive in me to not only be an asset to them as a husband and a father but to also build my businesses better and the way to do that was to get my mind right and, you, and I had to get my body right first. How was it? It was okay. Are you still mad at me? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have caffeine soon. Oh. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Alright, I think it's your turn. Okay. Right. ready for you. Thank you. This spring I just wasn't feeling that good. I was actually really burnt out. So I cleaned up my whole diet mm -hmm. and it was crazy when I cut out alcohol and processed foods, it's like 20 pounds just came right off of me. Definitely going into health and longevity direction, not only for my own health and longevity, but also for like the business as well. This will be good to get on record. Oh, and it's fun to document too. We'll just hold it like that for about 10 seconds here. Go. All right, we'll go over those results when we get the DEXA scan. Cool. 
Where's Diana? Is she gonna resolve? <laughs> Got my results. Ooh, Ooh you can't see Don't it. Resist. Oh, I can't see it yet? No. <laughs> you gotta do the big reveal. It was actually higher than I had predicted. Um, so I think that was interesting. I think her scan is actually going to be more accurate compared to ours. So I, I don't know why. I don't know. I just feel like you're smarter than me. So like obviously, <laughs> us, knucklehead, us knuckleheads, like what do we know? Like, come on. IQ matters in, the, in this instance. 100%. Yes. Nice. I'm looking at your skeleton. Is there at least everything there? Something looks terribly wrong. So as long as it looks big. <laughs> I'm hungry. Can are you I done eat? with your DEXA scan so you can go eat something now? Okay, are you sure? Did you bring anything? Yeah, a bar. You brought a bar? <laughs> you knew you were going to. You knew you were going to eat the second this was done. Yes. This is your report. So first portion <laughs> go going over the body composition analysis, mm -hmm. um, which goes over the different regions of your body with your totals highlighted. So the regions it covers, arms, legs. So my right arm's bigger than my left arm? Correct, yeah, there's definitely imbalances, which- Cool. Well, what was the overall percentage, the body fat? 20.3. There you yeah. go. Yeah, well, what, what was your guess again? 18. So right, not, yeah, pretty, pretty close. close. Pretty yeah, close. Not doing well. too far off. I was yeah. hoping to be off the other way though. Yeah. To be honest. So where does that I mean, be on the chart? Let's check it out. Too bad we didn't have a measurement for you back when, before your weight loss journey. I mean, that would have been a drastic change. Oh my God, change. it would have been what, like 50 or some nonsense? Uh, maybe like 35. Uh, do you think that, really that's the difference between 20 and 35? I mean 50. 75 pounds, you think? I don't know. What do you think, Savannah? That's an if interesting he was, question. What's that? If he was 70 pounds heavier, Yeah. How much do you think his body fat percentage would be at that point? Well, it depends on what that 70 pounds is. There were pure fat. If yeah. it's pure fat, it's then obese. your body fat percentage is just gonna hike straight up. It might even fall in the 40%. Yeah. Um, um, so 40 is high. <laughs> I was enjoying my sushi falling off the chart. <laughs> you, oh you exceeded all expectations. <laughs> I wasn't <Yeah>. even on <laughs> the chart. But you are moving in the right direction, which is what we want to see. So here's your report. Thank you. You're welcome. So we're going to go over the body composition analysis, your legs, your trunk, which is the region from below your neck to your waist. Wait, no. so what's the body fat percentage? 22.3. <laughs> 22 22.3. What did yeah. you say? So, you, you predicted 13? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> but you're still an ideal range and in fact this is definitely a much healthier um range to be in yeah so oh, 13 really? that would have been ridiculous in fact this number <laughs> based on women your age you're actually falling within the ideal category oh okay yeah all right good job thank babe. you Here's that. Yay. Yay. <laughs> now right. my breakdown overall body fat percentage 17.9 look at you go a little bit higher than i thought maybe mm -hmm. like 15. All right, Kit, so your Aura strap results were 21% and your DexaFit said 20.3%. So that's pretty close. Honestly, that's like a lot closer than I thought. But definitely within the standard deviation. Yeah, margin of error. Margin of error. Yeah. yeah. So my Aura strap pretty consistently gave 16% on me and DexaFit said I was 17.9. So that's pretty close. It's actually a lot closer than what I was getting on the General Electric foot scale I used at home that said I was 13%. Now, for Diana. Diana, your DexaFit body fat was 22.3 and your Aura strap results were nothing. Inconclusive. <laughs> we have tested and retested Diana like 12 times. <laughs> and not only does the scale at home not able to read her body fat percentage, but the Aura strap will not work on her as well. Right. Tried everything known to man and we cannot get this woman's body fat percentage with any of the wearables. <laughs> Is she an alien? Do, does she Find have metal in her body? Series. Is she not of this earth? The DexaFit and the DexaFit alone is the only thing that has proved able to determine the composition of Diana Rall. So this is higher than what I expected, mm -hmm. but uh, that's why we do the gold standard. Exactly. Right? Get the most accurate reading. There it is. There's that. That's the official report. <laughs>